Welcome back to TDC Classic Cars. We're here with Peter. What we're going to do now is we're going to walk through the different elements of the shop and we're just going to talk a little bit about all the ambiance and all the characters. So let's follow us and let's go through with our camera guy here. So Peter, why don't you take us through? So here, of course, here we talked about earlier, we talked about the truck, right? Here's yeah. the here's the back end of the charger. Look at that back end of the charger. Right? That's just uh, amazing. Heard, now you know why everybody likes these, I guess. It's, the lines are... So what's in what's in the what's in the original charger? Is there, what, what is it? What's the engine? In? The, the sought after one is the 440. The 440. Right? Okay. And so this one we have a 360 in this one. So 360. It, it does it does the job for what we need to. Oh, yeah. Do, right? 440. Um, wow, the original. So, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Eh? Look at the way. It Get our camera guy's gonna get some shots, and then we can go around and talk about the truck too. Like, yeah. So this one, if you, if you want to have a quick look inside, it's, sure. You know, it's kind of basic, and uh, this one actually had in between the center console has um, a handbrake, and the handbrake is so you could skid the car by just locking up the rear wheels. Nice. Right? So that's part and parcel of part of the preparation of the stunt car. I still like those guys' black rim glasses. Yeah. In the car. So let's go around here. Let's take a look at the truck. Sure. Maybe we can get so, around here. So this we built this from scratch. Uh, it's based on a Chevy Avalanche. Okay. And um, like I said, we. Took um, design cues from real military vehicle when we built it. The hood's from a Baja truck, um, and then uh, but it does its job. It's you know it's very reliable. It's a gas V8 engine. There you go. Standing on here like I'm a military guy. <laughs> <laughs> we do the bars because you know that's that scene where the SWAT guys ride on the side. Yeah, no, that's great. This, this is great. great. And then so, like here's the old Fiero. What's that? 1984 or something like that. 85. Yeah. 85. This is the one with the V6. So this oh, is the performance model. high and end. You have 100 horsepower, I'm not sure. Wow. But, um, yeah, but you know, the part of this thing is have, with the collection is yeah. supporting the collection, right? Okay. Or supporting the cars. And, um, you know, there's a lot of parts available out there, but for, you know, filming and things, we always have to have the spares. That takes up a lot of space. You know, we need to have spare starters and spare this and that and tires. That's a lot of investment. Yeah, like so, you know, as you see, we have a couple of Range Rovers here. Yeah. Um, well, we actually have doubles of this one, uh, and we'll have both of them out if something happens to one. Your, your shooting day could be a hundred, hundred and fifty thousand dollars or more, and if this breaks down, what are you gonna do? Oh, big trouble. You gotta right? be ready. That's a lot, a lot of money lost. Well, so these are getting so, ready to go out for shoots. Yeah, this one's yep. been out. Um, yeah. Tell uh, me now, what is this car? What's that? So this is a. 62 Studebaker. Wow. Um, it's a Canadian car. Uh, this was a barn find. We haven't done the interior yet. It's kind of dusty. Uh, we finished it and then something happened to the differential on it. So, so that's a, that was a bar find. Here. That was a barn find. Barn yeah. find. Wow. Yeah. How long um, you had this one now? Two years. Two years. Yeah. So really, the, th this was actually in really good shape. We just had to do floors and trunk pan and some other things. And the, it looks the pretty good. The original color. Looks pretty um, good. I, tr I try and get the uh, color codes from the vehicle. Yeah. And try and go back to original, unless we have too many of a certain color. Wow. So here's a here's a nice rebuild. Yeah, this one's in. This, this was kind of a project. Um, it's one of my mechanics who's working on this one. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So. That's nice. Eventually he'll get it done. It's a convertible. Uh, for film use, you know, it's funny. Convertibles just don't. Don't do it. They don't do it. I don't know why it is, but we, it's it's hard to store them for us too because it's you know. See, this is what I would like to do for the channel, right? Yeah. Have a rebuild right, yeah, right yeah, from yeah. right from well, the ground up. Fun. Yeah. And like I said, we, right from finding it. Yeah, yeah we so. should do that. And there's a Hummer. Yeah, um, we have uh, about 14 Hummers in the fleet. Wow. Um, this one here, um, we've been repowering it to a gas motor. Um, so look at the camera guy. Come here. Uh, we get our camera guy up here so close. Get in here. It's got a lot of junk in there, but that's it's great though. I love it. Like this is what it's all about, right? So the Hummer uh, was equipped with a 6.2 liter diesel. Yeah. And for filming, it's loud. For right? filming, it's loud. And not great in the winter. So uh -huh. we've been converting them to gas. Oh, okay. Uh, it's quieter and a bit more reliable for us. Right? Interesting. Interesting. What's this? It's almost like a little Pinto, but that's not a Pinto. This is a, a Buick Skyhawk. Skyhawk. 77 Skyhawk. So people would know this car. This is in Chevrolet would be the Chevy Monza. Oh, and that okay. was the car everybody would drop a huge V8 and go to the drag strip with oh, it. And so because okay. of that, that's become a rare car because they've all been cut up. Like ah. people would tub them out and put drag wheels and, you know, slicks and things on it. So um, this one, I found this in British Columbia. Um, interior was in good shape. It's running V6, not a big V8. Yeah. Right? But um, an easy restoration, 
and good for one of those everyday 80s, 70s streets. Yeah, like you said, right? on the side of the road or yeah, whatever, right? Yeah, hard to find. Uh, yeah, so we'll put that into inventory. That's great. So now we're entering. What is this section now we're entering? So we're kind of, you know, we're going past our storage area, yep. military vehicle parts, and we're going into our fabrication area. Fabrication area. So explain what that means to our viewers. So um, a lot of times uh, a production will say we want, um, you know, a push bar or a light bar or something else added to the vehicle. So, you know, we'll try and make it in house. And oh, okay. So we have tubing benders and we're, we're not a heavy fabrication shop. There's other departments like yeah. special effects could be do a lot of that things. Um, but, you know, it's part of our um, restoration process also, nice. right? Ooh, there's um, another Hummer. Yeah, this Hummer here, uh, we up armored it and added the turret to okay. it. Okay. Oh, and, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. We had put a gas motor in it and we got water in it. There's, oh. There's a, um, right at the edge of the, on the top of the motor here, there's a rubber seal. And the seal failed and water got in the motor and it was seized from the, through you the sure You sure do seem to know a lot about all different aspects like it's the, but you're not a, you're not a licensed mechanic error. are you but no just, i'm not a mechanic it's just mostly a right? and yeah. a lot of trial but wow um, no you sure do know yourself i love this we were talking about this one tell us about this one now so yeah this is an electric industrial cart so so part of the whole thing is it's, it's great you know we have whatever 200 vehicles we have to be able to support those vehicles uh with um, you know a, a support team to keep them going uh, when we're at set because it seems that uh you know what will go wrong always goes wrong when they say roll ah. and it's, oh, it won't start or something it's just i yep. don't know why but anyway so we bought this electric cart um it's going to be able to carry you know a uh, tool set um it has a uh, air compressor on board for tires or whatever else we need and a fuel tank it's got a built-in fuel tank it's electric but it's for refilling cars and that'll probably work with you spending more time on sets right yeah and we always bit, try yeah. and roll out with a mechanic um, you know, even if they just want to shoot something where they have to take a door off, sometimes to get a perfect camera angle, the car door has to be removed. And it's not so simple anymore of, you know, four bolts, it's a wiring harness and a yeah. thing. And some of them are very complicated to take the door off. And I guess with you being on set now with this new development, it's going to help everybody, like helps you, the people you're working for because you're hands on now. A yeah, bit, right? so, so um, yeah. Being on set helps uh, in dealing with the production and the producers and, and maybe more of the art departments and being able to uh, and know firsthand of what's expected of the vehicles. Now, what are the bimmers back there? Look at that, look at that back there. Get a, look at our, our uh, we got the bikes back there. Look at all the, how many bikes yeah, you got there. Yeah, the police bikes back there. Um, that's, the, that's really cool. BMWs, eh? BMWs, yeah. And you know, the funny, they came up from the US. We always use Harleys here. Yeah. Right? And, um, I had a Harley, when yeah. I, like, you know, police Harley, and um, yeah. during COVID, um, I had purchased one, and uh, we stripped it down to the frame, redid it, and painted it, and now it's like a cruiser. Oh, me. really? So, yeah, and uh, yeah, and what? it's funny. I built it around the seat that I found. I found a nice brown leather seat from a '77. Uh, well, I know you a lot of cop cars outside too. We're gonna do that later. We're gonna yeah. we get some. We'll get some um, nice footage outside. So now we're entering, I guess, the paint shop. Yeah. So Is that what you call it, or got, yeah, paint shop uh, and fabrication paint. Okay. Come on in, camera guy. Go on in. There you go. Nice. So part of it, you know, is being able to restore the pieces that we find. Yeah. Right? And um, so it's good to have good uh, metal workers and tin bangers to repair things. The thing that I've found over the years is you can buy pretty much any part for any vehicle. It's it's amazing. Like there's so many online resources of people making. Uh, refurbishment parts really? and things and yeah it really makes if you're you know as a um, even as a hobbyist or a car collector uh, to be able to find the parts I like the way you have just like your closed off room to paint the cars eh yeah like that's pretty yeah, cool put this booth in. It's, a, a, it's a larger booth uh, so we put vans and things is that another Land Rover this in is there? another Range Rover Range Rover, yeah. Range Rover? Yeah. Uh, this one's getting yeah. painted to match the others oh nice yeah wow so, um, and now you're obviously like you must run like crazy hours, right? Like filming the industry there. We have two shifts. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, I have two shifts. I have oh, some okay. mechanics that come in in the evening, which sometimes the best work gets done in the evening. Yeah. The phone's not oh, ringing, you do. Eh? Okay. Like yeah. And how about do you work much on the weekends or not really? Uh, we're Depend? working this weekend. You are. Yeah, right? It depends. We try and avoid working weekends. Yeah, because otherwise you're gonna work every day. Yeah, you could work every day. Pretty much. Yeah. Um, I kind of left it up to my crew of people if they want to come in on the weekends. Yeah. Because like I said. 
But you know, at least if they came out on a weekend, then on Monday I'll know what parts we need if we're, we're doing a refurbishment. Or well, this is wonderful, Peter. So what we're going to be doing is hopefully we're going to be uh, in future shows coming back here with a story when Peter's got really uh, like a, a great shoot coming up and he's gone and wants to share, a, you know, some tidbits of the film industry or, or we want to get something out. And we also might be going on locations. Um, again, that's going to be a little here and here and there miss, you know, depends because of the industry. They don't know if they want you on set, but we're going to be featuring classic cars, whether that's military, we're going to do another, probably bring in some military guys. Um, even CAA, like I want it to be, I want to go right out about all the, the vehicles, right? How they right. sort of intertwine with the industry. Um, the backstory we have behind them. And if people wanted to find out more information, Peter, if they wanted to get involved, they wanted to volunteer, they wanted to learn more because I'm sure, like you said, the industry is booming. Yeah, and you so know- So you might be looking for staff or- There's, there's a lot of, um, so the industry needs cars or, or people with have cars. Some people have car collections, something we wouldn't want to keep in stock. Yeah. And uh, there are companies like myself that just broker cars and, um, you know, they'll keep it, we'll keep a database. Other people keep a database of cars, collector cars. And uh, a lot of time they'll have those owners come out when we're doing like twenties and thirties, 1920s, and 1930s things. It's always great to have the owner of the car. Cause it's very difficult. To yeah. Operate, right? um, so that happens a lot. And, and if people um, want to find out more about your platform or yeah, whatever, uh, or we'll, they just we'll, put, we'll put the website in okay. later and you know, we can talk about it. And, uh, yeah. but, um, yeah, it's definitely, um, something that needed. Is That's great. Research. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to take a quick break and then we're going to hit outside, whether or not we go, probably our camera guy's going to go there. We're going to get some great footage outside. There's lots of cars on a lot in all different conditions. Lots of cop cars, yeah. lots of military. So stay tuned. You're watching TVC Classic Cars. We're out here in Scarborough with Peter at his great car shop. Again, you're watching the Disability Channel. We'll be right back. Mayor Marianne Mead Ward and I'd like to wish the Disability Channel much success on your October 12th fundraiser for persons with disabilities and veterans, your VIP concert and drone ball drop. Thank you for choosing Burlington. You operate right out of Tech Place right here in our city and serving the people in our community and much success with your fundraiser. Thank you. Do you have an event coming up and you would like media coverage? Connect with us at TDC at www.thedisabilitychannel.ca. Hi there, Wendell Clark. You're watching the Disability Channel, showcasing their abilities. All the best. So I hope everybody enjoyed the, the view of the like hundreds of cars in all different states and forms and fashion. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna enter the dome and Peter, tell us a little bit about the dome now. So yeah, we, we're you know storing some of the vehicles in here that we can't leave out in a lot. Spaces at a premium, indoor space especially, right? Um, eventually we'd like to have a racking system. Like I was saying earlier, we have another offsite facility that we've just got at the beginning of COVID. Yeah, yeah. And of course, you know, there's no money flowing during COVID. That's right, so yeah. We'll continue with that and I can have like a three uh, car stacker system there. Oh, wow. So some of these cars uh, in here, we've restored them. Okay. Or they're obviously, you know, uh, higher end cars. Ooh, look at this one, Maserati. Yeah, now, obviously right. you got the brand new cars too, right? Like there's some newer cars, This yeah. one, the Jag there. Yeah, we have, uh, you know, some other cars in here. That's uh, a wonderful uh, bus or a... Yeah, the van. The van! Uh, um, 67 or 68 GMC van. Wow. Right? Kind of like uh, Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo, yeah, I was going to say it's Scooby-Doo's van. It's almost as nice as the uh, the, the classic uh, VWs. Yeah, it's, v it's got that same... It's kind of like the VW look, eh? The kind of cab over uh, look to it. This is crazy, and then you have a nice. I call that a Nova, but it's it a Venture. Well, yeah, that's, Venture. Yeah, that's the sister. Ventura, the which sister. is in the same body line as the Nova. Yeah, and um, I think Buick was the Skylark. So what's in it? Three hundred five. This one has a. Um, this one is a, a Pontiac three hundred fifty. Oh, three fifty. Okay, right? okay. Um, that's a nice Kawasaki. Is, you know, uh, it's, it's a four door. Four door. Not yeah. so desirable, but that's for us it is right. Um, and we you know we restored this eighty two Volvo. Um, we've got a 60 Buick, well, the letters aren't on, but look at a, these a cars. Saber. Wow. A classic, classic. Look at them. Wow. So all of the cars in here, 
or barn finds. Or barn finds. Barn finds. Like this one here uh, from Prince Edward Island. I love the look of the back of this when you get a chance. It's like, you know, this is your 60s, your rocket look on the yeah. back. Yeah. And the color, I know it's covered in dust in here. It's uh, called Autumn Mist, which looks kind of a salmon-y, pinkish color. Yeah. But uh, all these are color code correct to the period. Look at this boat here, Wildcat. Yeah, Buick Wildcat. Wow, I don't even know what that is. I, I didn't know. <laughs> I don't even know <laughs> right? what that is. Wildcat. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Well, yeah. Wow. So. And then what is this one behind you now? This one's a. Uh, this one here, it's a 1915 GMC truck. Um, and uh, we got this one uh, about three years ago. And somebody had converted this. It has a Mazda diesel pickup truck motor. Wow. And the funny thing is, it almost sounds, when this is running, it sounds like the real deal. Like you know what this is? Right. Beverly Hillbilly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Right, yeah, Beverly Hillbilly, right? Really grainy, right? Really grainy. But they only, they had the they had yeah, the s cool. the seat in the back. Yes. for Ellie Mae. Yeah, yeah, that's right. yeah. And that one, what's that? Well, that's a, that's like Bonnie and Clyde. That, yeah, this one's a uh, thirty-four Chevy, um, and uh, that was also like, like I said, barn fine. Yeah. The purists would be angry at us because we've put a, a six-cylinder automatic Ford motor in this. So oh, it's oh. a straight six. It fit in there nicely. It sounds good. But for us, it's more important that runs and drives. Yeah, exactly. Easy, easily, right? Because not too many people can drive manual transmissions anymore. This is a nice van. Wow. It's pretty fancy. I like yeah, this one. Line. Yeah, it's that's a four Econo line, eh? Yeah. Wow. And then you got, see, and then you got like a, another, uh, what's that? Another it's Jaguar. A Jag. That's a Jag XK. Yeah. yeah. Two of those are doubles. Uh, we had those for uh, a feature. And um, one was a stunt car and one was a hero car. And, you know, one. Sort of got crashed, but not really. That's great, Peter. Well, I want to thank you so much for having us out today to your car shop and car lot and told us all about the history of the cars. And we're like I said, we're going to be coming back to do our uh, car show here with Peter at uh, his shop again. Give it, give the name of your shop again, Peter. Uh, we're Pitcher Vehicle Specialty. There you go. Uh, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I hope you enjoy the walk around with lots of cars, lots of updates. Please join us on social media, the Disability Channel. We're on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, everywhere, www.thedisabilitychannel.ca. Again, today you're watching TDC Classic Cars, our debut show with Peter at his car shop. Again, Peter? Picture vehicle special. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time on a Disability Channel.